the system's rigged. I, I agree. But if you don't use the rigged system to your advantage, you just become another casualty of the system. Bear gang till I die, ho. Swooped up the homies and we about to start a side show. It's just gambling. It's literally just gambling. Anyone who tells you that the stock market isn't gambling is lying to you or they're fucking brain dead. Take. The stock market is not gambling. Actively trading, day trading and options is a gamble. The stock market is not a gamble. Timing it is a gamble, but you're not in it for the time. That's such a shit take. That's such a shit take. It's a gamble. You shouldn't invest your money. Leave it in your savings account so it slowly dies and you don't keep up with inflation and you'll never own a house and you'll always rent and then you'll always be the bitch. If you if he would have said day trading is a gamble, option trading is a gamble, yes. But by saying the stock market is a gamble, if you want to say it's a gamble, yeah. Getting in your car and driving is a gamble. You getting up every day out of your bed is a gamble. Everything's a gamble. But a track record of... 10% return on average per year for 70 years? You're calling that a gamble? It's the only way in our current system for somebody to increase their wealth. It's a gamble just as much as a casino? No, it's not. The stock market is not a gamble as much as the casino. Okay? The stock market, the entire market, not an individual stock, not options, not day trading, the entire market, okay, it, 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 it goes up because... Guess what? Guess what? Got information for you guys. Hyperinflation. Why do you think billionaires, millionaires become billionaires in the stock market without even doing anything? Because hyperinflation goes into the stock market, increases share values exponentially, but that hyperinflation doesn't touch core inflation, meaning you will make money in the market, you withdraw that money, and now you have more real money, well, real money, in, in, the, in, in, in core commodities and assets that you can now buy more. If you don't put your money in the market to grow it, you will never own a home. Congratulations. You will live at home until your parents die or you will be a renter. Okay. I'm not talking about actively trading. I'm talking about putting your money in a total market fund, the S and P 500 and just letting it ride. You don't care if it's up or down. Yeah, you might be gambling based on the time you put it in, but you're not doing that. You're DCA and you're just putting in over time. So let me no, guys, I'm not, I'm not trying to start anything here. I'm just saying that, 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 that people who don't understand the market hate it. People are scared of what they don't understand. And the idea that the market is, 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 is a gamble by telling people that you're just pushing them away from the only means that we have. Now, is it, should it be this way? That's not the argument here. Is the system broken? Sure. But the current system we have, the only way for you to make your money into more money is to invest. Otherwise, you stay safe, you keep it in your bank account, your money slowly loses its value by 3% every year until your $100,000 buys you fucking three sandwiches and a goddamn oil change in 20 years. The average price of a house in 2000 was $149,000. The average home in America now is almost $400,000. How the fuck were you going to make money grow at the same pace as real estate? You weren't. We'll put it in my savings account at 0.25%. Great. You got, a, you got a quarter. In a couple of years, you can buy a fucking Snickers bar. Oh, wait, no, you can't because they're going to be $5 a piece too. You have to keep up with core inflation. And the only way to keep up and beat core inflation in our current system is to use hyperinflation within equities. You don't have to day trade. That's gambling. You're an options tra trader. You might as well fucking play slot machines. But... The idea of telling people, don't put your market, your money in the stock market because it's a gamble is the easiest way to keep people down, keep people broke, never allow them to grow their money, never allow them to, to actually increase and get out of, out of, out of debt and, and, and retire. So I think that that's a shit take. Saying the market can be a gamble based on when you go in because it can go up or down at any time. Absolutely. But by just saying the, market, the stock market is a complete gamble is don't put your money in it stupid is, is really disingenuous to people. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about anybody out there. All right, I'm sorry. I, I get upset at it because I've seen way too many people um, not invest their money because they were worried about a gamble in the market and then they never, they never get financial independence. Let me give you an example.
Okay? I understand I've done this a lot of time. There are so many people who never invested because they thought the market was a gamble. And look at the market now. If you had $100,000 and you dropped it, like I said a million times, the day before the stock market crashed, your money is still up. Your $100,000 is now $236,000. Even though the market dumped 50% or, or your money was down 50%, you're still up 136%. Is that a gamble? Oh, let's add dividends. Let's make it 150%. Is that a gamble? Timing it is a gamble. But the market always goes up because of hyperinflation. Federal Reserve having, having interest rates at zero. Retail traders, you know, billionaires. Yeah, are the billionaires the ones making the money? Sure. But should that be, well, I don't want to do it because it's rigged for billionaires. Sure, it's rigged for billionaires. Everything is rigged for billionaires. Should I not vote because the, the politicians are bought by billionaires? I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's not him. It, it's not him, guys. It's not him. It's, it's, it's anybody who, 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 you know, um, discourages somebody else from investing their money and helping them be better off. Because guess what? The system's rigged. I, I agree. But if you don't use the rigged system to your advantage, you just become another casualty of the system. Oh, guys, I already told you earlier, it wasn't about him. It was about the idea behind not investing because it's a gamble. What did you guys, how did you guys clip this? It's probably out of context as fuck. That's such a shit take. It's a gamble. You shouldn't invest your money. Leave it in your savings account so it slowly dies and you don't keep up with inflation and you'll never own it. He's lying to you. Okay. Okay. Imagine having a positive net worth to invest. Okay, that's somebody from here. 84% of all stock shares are owned by the wealthiest 10% of Americans. That's just saying, oh, well, 84% of it's owned by the top 10. I shouldn't get in part of it. Most working class people can't afford to put aside any money to invest. So they don't need to worry about it. Once again, that, see, that's the mindset that I get concerned of. By, 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 people will end up believing this stuff. Okay, they will start believing this and they will say, well, if it's if 84% are owned by the top 10%, I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, get involved or it's a gamble. I shouldn't get involved. That's exactly what those 10% other people want you. They want to own all of it and you'll never make any money. It's not that if it's true, it's that but 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 by saying stuff like this, you automatically make it to where it's, it, it, it makes it seem like that's like saying, um, I don't go to the gym because I can't lift anything over 20 pound dumbbells and the other 90% of dumbbells are these giant things and only these big guys can do it. So therefore I shouldn't get in the gym. No, fucking get in the gym, work out, worry about you. Do you buy a cup of coffee or donate to streamers or go out to eat? Because a year ago I bought stocks, the cost of a cup share. Those were Neo, Xbev, and Lee. Okay, which one of you is this? See, this is why I don't like it. This guy says something really nice to help people, and this guy goes, oh, so you visited Biz once and now feel superior? Nice. No. Shut the fuck up. See? Look at this. This doesn't make any sense. Why, why people do this? This guy's like, hey, man, listen. I, th these, were, these were a little bit gambles. It wasn't more expected, but hey, listen. I, I didn't buy a couple things. I put it in there, and it's giving me more money. Shut the fuck up. I don't get it. I took my government corona check and put it right into Robinhood along with some of the unemployment I was receiving while I was furloughed. I have an IRA since I was 24, but always wanted to own stocks, but never had capital to invest. Then corona happened, and it was the best chance to average people like me to get their money in. I explained, uh, so there's still plenty of time. You should. Many things are at lows, expecting major recoveries. I have crippling student loan debt, a mortgage, and bills to pay on top of normal expenses. My corona check went entirely bills. Why would you buy a house when you're drowned in student loan debt? I feel like there's a lot of context missing from both sides. There is. It's, 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 it's two clips that are not complete. Uh, the stock guy uh, made the same point as Hassan made, the same point that Buffett made. Basically, you aren't going to outperform the S&P. 
Uh, the whole rant was about dudes that looked at a couple of guides and read news and think they now outperform indexes. He specifically mentioned day traders and Andes. It's the exact same stock guy's making. If hedge funds can't uh, reliably outperform the index, trying to do so is a gamble. Buying stock is a gamble. Of course, people clip whatever they want. The reaction, get the clip. Yeah, exactly. No, guys, I don't want to break this into a political. This isn't a politics thing. This is just a this is just a um, difference in opinions on if the market is a gamble or if based on its 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 history, if it is a uh, it is a engine to fuel wealth increase. This isn't about capitalism or socialism. I I will never defend crony capitalism. That's not what I, I'm here to do. I'm here to help you make money or increase your net worth or help you get in a better position financially based on what is you are living in, not to defend something. That's not what I do because I am not going to defend one type or the other because it, me defending capitalism in its current state in America is the same as somebody defending socialism, but in Venezuela, right? Everyone's going to say, well, according to its purest firm, or if it was done correctly, same thing with capitalism, right? If capitalism was done correctly, you wouldn't have exploitation. If communism was done correctly, you wouldn't have exploitation. But it doesn't because power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Oh, well, communism isn't about everyone has equal power. No, it doesn't. It starts out that way and then factions are formed and governments are formed because people are sheep. People are herds. People follow the rules. People want to be told and know where to go and what to do. They want a leader. That's why anarchies never work because people as a collective are sheep. It's how it is. It is how it is. It doesn't matter what society you have, whether it's a communist, a fascist, whether it's a, a, a socialist, whether it's a utopian, doesn't matter. People want a leader. People need a leader. Everything needs to be drama. That doesn't. This isn't me attacking, you know, an individual or a way of, 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 of anything. I just, uh, I just disagree that, uh, I disagree on the, not on the premise that, 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 that the market is a gamble, because depending on how you time it, it is a gamble. I disagree on the premise that it's, it's, it's not worth investing because it's a gamble. Uh, I think that's, I, I disagree on that. That's what I disagree on. Everything is a gamble. You getting in your car to drive to the store is a gamble. A drunk driver, T-bone, you're dead. Brakes go out, you're dead. But 99% of the time over your 40 years, you didn't die. So therefore, it's, it beats walking, right? You'll never get there if you walk. But if you drive, you'll get to your destination and you'll get there sooner. Same thing with the market. If you put it in your savings account, you're walking to the end of the line and you're never going to get to your destination. You're going to die as a greeter at Walmart because you, you, Social Security is fucked. You, you, know, you don't have any money saved up. But the market is an engine that's like a vehicle. Okay? In this case, it's like a vehicle that every now and then breaks down. Okay? But eventually gets fixed and keeps going. Is there a chance the market could crash? Absolutely. But what have we seen every crash? Goes right back up. And as long as interest rates are at zero, the market will, ne will, will just keep going. No, because I'm not going to debate. What am I going to do? Defend the, 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 the stock market? No, I'm not going to defend billionaires. I'm not going to defend the stock market. I'm not going to defend capitalism. I'm just using... It, okay, it's like it, 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 this, is, this is the reality. And as long as it's the reality, I'm going to use it to better myself. Well, that's a selfish take, Stocky. Well, that's fine. Okay? But it's not like instead of investing in the stock market, I'm out feeding the homeless. No. It's either my money sits in my bank account and dies, or it makes more. Because guess what? The way inflation works, if you don't make your money into more money, you will always be behind. I'd rather, if I was in a NASCAR race... Okay, you may not win the race, but I want to be in the top 10. I want to collect those points towards the end of the year championship, right? But if I'm, if I'm, well, this race is rigged, I'm in the last place, fine. You get no points. I may not win, but I'm going to collect them points along the way. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the person that just asked the question. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. Don't say that. No, don't, don't be just because somebody has a different opinion does not mean fuck them. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I disagree, but I'm not like they're an idiot. Okay. That's like saying, I believe that I should have the right to carry my sidearm with me. Somebody may disagree and say, you don't need a gun. It's dangerous. That's fine. I'm not going to be like, well, you're a fucking idiot and I hope you get shot one day or robbed and then you'll wish you had a gun. No, that is an idiot. That is a, that is a, that is a dumbass take by the person to say, well, I hope something bad or you're dumb because you don't believe what I believe. No, we have differences of opinions. You may have a different background or, or, or understanding of where you come from. For me, I don't look at a gun as a sword. I look at it as a shield, right? That's how I look at it. I hope I never have to pull a gun. I don't go out saying, well, I wish a motherfucker would fuck with me. I'm going to blast him away. No, I carry it saying, I hope I never am in a situation to have to use this because that means I'm in a really bad situation and I don't want to be in a really bad situation with my family. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's okay to disagree. I think that's the problem that we're having right now is that people don't, they, they don't, they, they think it's either you're, you're, you're with me or you're against me. Not you're either with me or you're not with me. Just because somebody's not a friend does not mean they're an enemy. You understand what I'm saying? That's kind of that's kind of what I look at. Just because you're not my friend does not mean you're my enemy. You may just be a coworker or you may be uh, an acquaintance. That mean I hate you. We're just not friends. Listen, every single group of friends has one person in that group who they clown on when they're not around. And if you don't know who that person is, I've got bad news for you. Okay, actually, that was a terrible example, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like I can understand. I can understand exactly. Where that other point of view comes from with the market, right? Somebody gets burned once or they see somebody get burned once or they see somebody invest in something and then the stock immediately goes down. And then you do it again, it goes down. It's a fucking gamble, right? But there are certain fallacies that are perpetuated to keep poor people poor. Right? It's supposed to, you're, you're, you're not supposed to be in the market. Because richer people want to separate themselves from you and want as much distance from you as possible. They don't want you in there making any money. Because the more gap there is between you and them, the more power and, and afford, affordability of things they have. And I'm trying to tell people, no, do not listen to this. I'll give you an example. You guys ever heard of the caste system? Anybody ever heard of the caste system? My Indians in here have. Okay, let me explain you what the caste system is. The caste system is the idea that you are born to a certain group. Depending on where you are is what you are allowed to do in life. What you're allowed to do as a job. Who you're allowed to marry. Who is, you know, who's above you. How much money you're allowed to have. All that stuff, right? Do you want to know why India has a caste system? I think it was 1600 BC. Or maybe AD, I can't remember. They were invaded. Now, do you know the number one way to make sure that you enslave or control a population? Not violence. Create division. If people are too busy fighting each other, they'll never fight you. How did this create division? Very simple. You make some people think they have more than others, and they will fight to keep what they have. If people have less than others, they will hate those people because they have more. Make somebody here, they will do everything they can to make sure that these people and these people have less than them so that they keep what they have. These people will always hate those people. These people will do whatever they have. Whatever, the, whatever these people give them, oh, I don't want that to go away. I don't want that to go away because I want to have more than this person and this person fucking hates that person. As long as these people will do whatever they have to do to make sure that they don't lose ground to these people and as long as these people can never make up the ground and hate these people, none of these people will get together to stop this. And that is why you have a caste system. It happens every day in America and I'm not being a conspiracy theorist. Why do you think everything on the news is to drive division? Rich versus poor. Wall Street versus Main Street. Republicans versus Democrats. Capitalism versus communism. Black versus white. 
Cops versus people. Men versus women. I'm sorry. I'm not being. Uh, I'm not being a conspiracy theorist. This is what goes on behind the scenes with the people that you'll never hear. You don't know the name of. The caste system was never abolished. It was in theory. Day trading is gambling. Absolutely. Day trading, options trading, swing trading, absolute gambling. I said that already. Sitting your money in a full market, especially an S and P fund, for twenty to thirty years. In my opinion, I wouldn't call it gambling. Unless you're going to call getting in your car and driving to the store gambling. I would call it that. Yeah, it could drop at any time. Yeah, your car could break down at any time. Yeah, you could get T-boned at any time. But you've had that car for 20 years. It's broke down a couple times. You've never been hit. The general belief is, is that car is going to continue to take you there. And you're not going to get T-boned and die. And it's not going to break down. And if it does, you get it fixed and you keep going. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Stocky, eventually the market's going to crash. Yeah, I understand that. And... There have been people since 1994 who are still waiting for that. But Stucky, what about this? Whoop. What about this? Whoop. What about this? Whoop. They're still waiting for it to go back. And with dividends, they've missed out on a thousand percent in 26 years. I'm not telling you to buy stocks of anything. I've never told you about anything. You don't have to buy stocks. You don't have to buy ETFs. You could buy an index fund, a market fund. You could put your 401k. Listen, let me, let me ask you this. And this is what I meant when I was talking earlier about uh, uh, it's not a gamble. I'm not talking about the stock market as a whole. I'm talking about your 401k, your IRA, your HSA. You're getting a guaranteed return, a 60% return guaranteed from your employer. The stock market would have to drop 60% overall for you to break even. How is that considered a gamble? How is that considered a gamble? There's no precedence for that. What, 1929? I'm not talking about, you know, is it a gamble to buy Apple? Absolutely it is. Apple, Apple will be a small, will be a, a small cap company one day. Okay, just like GM and Ford. Okay, there was a time when GM and, you know, those companies had these market caps that were insane. They were, they were going up, 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 and that's how you got rich. And they were, they were going to be the beasts of the market. The entire market was driven by five companies in manufacturing. And guess what? Some of those stocks are worth $6 now. There will come a time when Apple and Amazon and all those are no longer the big boys. There will be a time when there is a new king of the hill. Maybe it's electric vehicles. I mean, imagine if some company comes up with a uh, cure for aging or comes up with uh, 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 artificial organs that, 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 that are, you know, parts that can attach to your organs and keep them living forever or, or for extra 20, 30 years. That company will have a bigger market cap than Apple and Amazon. 